Hi, and welcome to another Results Positive QA Technology Talk. This is Series 5, Application Security in the Cloud. Today, we're going to be focused on HPE Fortify On Demand and how your organization can use this product to increase your efficiency and effectiveness in security and vulnerability testing within your organization. So why do we care about this topic? Uh, first and foremost, your critical business applications face the internet. Um, oftentimes today, you might have an extension, a CRM portal extension of some sort that faces the outside world, or perhaps you have other applications that you've designed that you use that also face the outside world. One such example might be a retail website for that matter. Secondly, there are regulations and standards in place today that make it very difficult for organizations to keep up with the latest and greatest. As an example, PCI DSS, HIPAA compliance, and also Sarbanes-Oxley, to name a few. PCI is going to be a focal point of today's presentation or today's demo. We're actually going to look at an application under test, a software as a service product that must adhere to very stringent and highly regulated credit, credit reporting agency standards um, from Experian and also TransUnion. The third point is more that more than 60% of applications have serious flaws and IT managers don't even realize it. Um, oftentimes, a product is built and it's provided to our customer base internally or externally with security flaws inherent in the software because we've never actually taken the time to run a vulnerability or a penetration test against the product. A simple penetration test can take less than a day, and it will actually it can uncover the you know the high and medium severity um, vulnerability points that you can close off, so that you're not in a vulnerable position down the line if somebody tries to exploit your system for credit card information, person personally identifiable information, or things of that that, that nature. So here's a diagram of HP Fortify Software Security Assurance. As you can see on the right, here's uh, your, your enemy, the, the hacker who's trying to break into your system and steal information. Um, basically, what HPE Fortify does is the on-demand version. It's cloud-based. You can sign up at sas.hpe.com. It allows you to take one of two different approaches. You can either dynamically scan your web-based application or your mobile application, or you can in fact, upload your code base and allow HPE Fortify to do a static analysis of the code and come back to you with their observations of any vulnerabilities that might be found. In addition, within the product itself, it provides a, re a remediation um, mechanism where you, know, you can work through the observations found during a vulnerability scan, add your comments, and uh, state your position essentially on these different observations and what you have done to remediate uh, the, the vulnerabilities uh, that have, have been found by the, by the platform during the scan. And the team at HP behind the scenes actually works with you um, to help address some of these vulnerabilities and to identify if a false positive may exist. If it does exist, they'll work to close that out so that your reports come out clean. Here, like I said before, from a remediation perspective, <clears throat> three different main points I want to bring to your attention. On the left, you can see HP has done a really nice job of taking the, the information that is brought to you through the dynamic and static scans and developing a dashboard so that your organization can quickly see at a bird's eye view all of the different scans that have occurred um, both in your internal and external applications in addition to a heat map that helps you identify vulnerabilities and threats rather quickly. Also, you have detailed reports, uh, the ability to quickly export executive summaries in the form of PDFs, also the ability to export XLS workbooks or CSV files to dump the data out, slice and dice it on your own time on your desktop. And then the last point I want to bring up here is collaboration. Um, so there's a web-based IDE, 
Um, there's IDE plugins as well, so that you can assign some of the issues to your developers. In addition, Results Positive is actually in the midst of working on an integration to HP Application Lifecycle Management and Quality Center Enterprise for HPE Fortify On Demand. So your team can actually, you can actually allow the issues that you've worked on in HPE Fortify to flow into Quality Center or ALM and report on them effectively from your test management tool. So here we see a matrix of different offerings within Fortify On Demand, particularly for the dynamic testing piece. As you can see, it starts from Express and works its way up to Premium. For today's demonstration, we're actually going to show you an application under test that contains highly sensitive credit card and credit reporting information, along with Social Security information uh, that is, it's encrypted, uh, but it, of course it passes through the system. Um, so basically the scans that we've done on this particular system that we're going to show you today involve the gamut of the different dynamic analysis that come that can come with HPE Fortify On Demand, including um, you know manual testing, business logic testing, web services testing, and some static analysis as well. So here, let's go ahead and jump into the demo and show you the product. So what we've done is we've already logged into the product, but from your perspective, if you have never used HPE Fortify On Demand, we encourage you to go to sas.hpe.com and you can sign up for a free trial. Uh, the free trial is what we've actually used to run this test and also provide you with the results of the test. Um, you can certainly sign up. Uh, I believe you get a 30, 15 or 30 day free trial. Um, that should provide plenty enough time for you to run a few vulnerability scans against your applications. So we have the product open here, as you can see, and it's actually open to the dashboard view. Um, the dashboard view gives you kind of a bird's eye perspective of what's happening. As soon as you sign up for the trial version, um, HP has sort of seeded the product with some data um, so that you can get a sense of what it looks like after you've ran some data. So these are sample dynamic applications that they've put in here. Um, I'm not going to drill into these, but basically what I'm doing is hovering my mouse over different sections, and you'll see this when you sign up for the product. Uh, this gives you insight into the severity of, of, different, of the different issues or observations, findings, after a, a security scan is, is, is executed. And then up here as well, it talks about you can, you can specify releases within Fortify On Demand. And then over here, you can quickly see at a bird's eye view some of the outstanding issues that your team might be facing, um, the assessments that have occurred, and you can group by different things such as business criticality, application type project, and interface type. What we did here is we have a product that we're gonna be scanning or showcasing today. This product is a um, leading edge uh, online property management and tenant screening software um, with direct interfaces to both Experian and TransUnion uh, for credit reporting data. So making this a highly sensitive and highly targeted software as a service application in terms of data that could be available to a hacker. Uh, personally, uh, credit report data obviously leads to, um, you know, identity thieves and things of that nature. So this particular product is used nationally in all 50 states, um, has processed, you know, hundreds of thousands of credit reports since 2011. Um, so there's a lot of data that could be breached and, and made available. In fact, Experian, um, Experian was uh, under, under attack about six months ago. Um, so this is uh, March of 2016. This was uh, back in October, I believe, October, November timeframe of 2015. Experian was uh, under attack from uh, a hacker group, um, and they've exposed they exposed a lot of data used to uh, run credit checks for T-Mobile. Uh, so that was in the news if you, if you heard about that. So one of the um, one of the outcomes of, of that particular attack was to uh, sort of strengthen the security measures that Experian uh, puts into place for their vendor community. And when I say their vendor community, I'm speaking of the resellers of credit reporting data through Experian. So Vertigo happens to be a reseller of Experian, so they have to go through um, 
they have to go through those stringent measures from Experian to make sure that their systems meet Experian's guidelines. Um, Experian actually calls their guidelines, there's an acronym for it, it's E13PA, and basically it's a, it's a more advanced version of PCI DSS um, that covers a multitude of other angles to ensure that any software that is grabbing data from Experian credit report data is, meets their, or exceeds their standards. Okay. So back over here to HPE Fortify, let's talk about the application at a high level. Of course, this is the dashboard, as I just mentioned before. Over to the right, you can set your different application types. Uh, here is a quick status of your dynamic scans of what has started or what has completed versus what has not started, uh, the different interface types that you might run. Uh, the vertical rent scan was across, it was a GUI scan, uh, so you can see the, the one there. Project type, not set versus application, star rating, so you get a rating after you know, HP Fortify rates, rates the scan after it's done. Uh, the scan type, whether it's a dynamic, mobile, or static scan, so three, three different primary scans that you can run. Um, and then the date range of the scans too, so that's all involved here. So moving from left to right, before we actually move to applications, I want to touch on this real quick. Uh, you can actually switch between your environments. Um, so Today we actually we tested against a production environment for vertical rent, and I want to share a, an interesting tidbit of information for you here. If you are testing against your production environment, uh, be very careful what usernames and passwords you use. Um, I actually ran into a, an issue myself. I, I didn't really think it through, and this happens to a lot of folks, so don't be embarrassed if it happens to you. Um, you know, you don't want to use a higher level account. Um, that could potentially access administrative functions of that nature that could impact your application. Even if it is within QA, let's say as an example, you're testing, you're running HPE Fortify against your, against your software within your QA environment. Well, you know, if your QA environment has integration points to other, other products internally, make sure that the account that you specify here in Fortify, and I'll show you this in a second, doesn't have access to manipulate configuration settings or anything like that that could have a ripple effect um, across different systems. I found out the hard way. Um, you just want to be very careful with which which account you specify because basically what Fortify is going to do is it's going to it's going to log into your system and do uh, and, and run every potential scenario it can to try to break in to your product, um, to do whatever is necessary to expose a vulnerability within your product. So you want to you want to give it enough access. You want to give it an account that has some uh, enough access to get a real good test, but you don't want to give it an account that has access to sensitive financial data or, or access to sensitive configuration data to another system, if that makes sense. Okay, so with that being said, one other thing I want to point out on this screen is you do have export functionality here. So when you click export, you can export all the data on this screen, which is nice as well. Uh, here just kind of moves this thing back and forth. Um, and you do have a universal search functionality across the top where you can search across everything. Uh, even more though is from moving from left to right here, you see the priority. You have a pass fail view. So when I click on pass fail here, you can see it shows just a, a view of the last couple of scans and what has passed and what has failed. Obviously this here indicates 100% failed. Uh, there's also heat, a heat map here, which is um, good if you, if you wanna get a high level, high level view of what's happening. Um, you can see that three, uh, three were high down here, a one, one three star as well, nothing medium and low. So there's not much data within this particular instance to give you a real, a real good view of, of a heat map, but you know that it's available here. Uh, you also have a categorical view. Um, a lot of issues, obviously, that you run into with vulnerability and penetration scans are cross-site scripting issues. Okay, so you, here you can what you can see is it, it it summarizes your categories, brings it up to a higher level, uh, so you can kind of take a look here. Um, at a higher level, what you're, what you've been facing for most of your applications, and the great part about this application, as you're going to see, is it gives you um, real good advice on how to go about and resolving some of these issues that come up, uh, some of the issues that that surface during a scan. So it, it sort of 
guides you through the process. And HPE has a security team on the back end that supports the customers that sign up for HPE Fortify On Demand and works with you through commenting through the product to kind of help guide you along too and, and remediating a lot of the issues that come up so that you can make your application safer and more secure. So moving from left to right, let's go into applications. And we can see here, these are the, these are the applications that were seeded uh, in the trial version that we signed up for. And this is the application that we added here. So this is vertical rent here. This is the rental property and tenant screening software that we're gonna show you today. Um, and I'm gonna come back over to this screen. I just wanna continue to move left to right to give you kind of a broad sweep of the product here. So you also have a reporting module here, uh, different reports that are generated from your scans. Um, you can see here that there's two reports that were generated down here, one for PCI 3.0 DSS compliance. Um, that's, that's a function of the scan that's provided to you. Um, you can also specify different reporting templates within this product, and you can export to CSV files. And you can create new reports here. Um, so you can just you know create, um, select a, an application and give it a name, click Next and select the template of the report that you want to generate. So for this one, I'll select dynamic summary. I can also select you know, a report that's geared towards PCI DSS. As an example, if your application um, is used uh, as a portal to collect money um, for invoicing, um, you'll have to adhere to specific PCI DSS standards uh, as per a lot of different um, vendor gateways out there. And what this does here, if you select this template, is it'll put that, the scan results in a format that they're used to reading. So oftentimes they'll request the PCI DSS scan on a quarterly basis, and you can come in here and do your scan and spit out a report and in the format that they're accustomed to seeing, um, letting them know that you meet all the standards for PCI DSS. So I'm just gonna go here to dynamic issue detail, click next, and I'm gonna generate the report. And there you go, it's generating the report down here and we'll take a look at that at a later point. Uh, you should be able to also download the report when it's, when it's completed with generation, okay? So let's go back over to the main screen of HPE Fortify to the tenant dashboard. And let's take a look at some of the issues that were identified with the scan of vertical rent. And I'm gonna take, it's kind of like we already baked the cake for you instead of showing you how to bake it, uh, but it's very simple to set up an application scan. Let us let us take you through this really quick of some of the results that were brought back, and then I'll take you through quickly how you can actually run a scan over an application on your test. It's very easy to do. Um, so what we see is I drilled down from the dashboard. It took me right into applications, and I'm looking at the issues that were found when we did a scan of this of this product here, Vertical Rent. Um, so basically, a lot of the issues that were found were low and medium issues. Uh, there were a few cross-scripting type of issues. One was a critical one uh, that was apparently overlooked by the development team at Vertical Rent, um, but that was quickly wrecked or quickly remediated and accepted by HPE and also Experian. The remaining issues that we see here are low issues, and oftentimes low issues or low severity issues for that matter aren't something that necessarily needs to be remediated. Um, it depends on how stringent your, your um, security measures are internally. And of course, you probably have an information security policy that you adhere to as an organization, as does every company, just like Vertical Rent has their own information security policy, often inherited by the most influential party, which would be Experian um, or TransUnion. Um, but you know, depending on how how strict or how aggressive your information security policy is, you might you might actually have to address a lot of these low severity um, items that come up from HPE Fortify. Um, fortunately, we didn't have to. Uh, we address the the high and mediums, but these lows we're gonna we're gonna let sit out there. But what I'd like to do for you today is actually show you some information about how how you would go about addressing these issues if you had to. So. You, you see, these issues would be found. You'd get an email saying, hey, your scan has been completed. It takes about a day after you kick off a dynamic scan. And then you would log back into the product here and you would sort of review some of your issues. So what you can do is this gives you a, sort of a summary view of what they have identified. And 
Here they give you, okay, you know, specifically the the um, the API call that invoked the error or the observation. And then in here you can actually click on the link and this takes you into more specifics about the observation. So here you can see a bunch of tabs across the top here. Uh, vulnerability, summary information. As I mentioned, HPE does a fantastic job of giving you information about what they have found and what it means and why it might be a vulnerability to you. So you can read about this information here and work your way across the top to see what their recommendations are to fix the issues. Um, unfortunately, there wasn't a recommendation for this one. Uh, oftentimes there is though. Um, you can add comments in here and these comments are actually provided back to HPE um, and they can assess whether or not they want to you know, provide you with more information back. You can ask questions or, or you can even challenge a particular one. Uh, as an example, this developer status, this is for you, you know, as an end user to come in and say, you know, this isn't, uh, this isn't something that you know, we're going to fix because it is, this, is, this is part of the product and we develop this by design. So you can come in here and say, you know what, will not fix, and then come in here and comment and provide a comment with regards to why you wouldn't fix it and submit it. And basically th that comment will be reviewed by the security team at HPE and also reflected on the final report that you pull out of Fortify On Demand. Um, a few other things, let's go into another uh, observation down here. Take a look here, cookies. So this is a cookie security one. <clears throat> um, and I don't know if that's entirely true here. The web application does not utilize HTTP only cookies. So here's the thing: some of these some of these observations that might come back, they they may indeed be false positives. Uh, so you know, review them all with your team. Um, but you know, it does not mean that this is. You can't dispute these because you can always dispute these. But what they do here is they'll provide you with information about how to how to fix some of these things or recommendations or links out to different areas on Microsoft's website on how to address the vulnerabilities. <clears throat> so let's take a look at one more uh, access control. And this one is still open. So look at the summary. It gives you a nice summary view of what this actually is. Um, let's see if it gives us a recommendation. Yes, actually, this is one of the more comprehensive recommendations I've seen. So this is good. Um, good. So it gives you steps on what you need to take. It also gives you links to um, actual instructions that are provided on Microsoft's website for closing off this particular vulnerability. So that's good. And as a developer, what you can do is work down through these recommendations, add your comments, uh, change the status. So you might want to change it to remediated. Or if it is open, uh, you know, if you think it's a false positive, um, as I mentioned before, you can change it to false positive challenge. Uh, once you provide adequate reasoning, uh, that's submitted off to, um, to HPE. Okay. And you see up here, you can submit the challenge too. Okay. So that's good. Um, over here, I want to point out a few other things before we go on. Uh, you see on the left-hand side, from a navigation perspective, how easy it is to move uh, along the structure of this product. So coming down to scans, let's click here. Um, so you can move, move yourself down. Um, I'm going to submit that challenge. And I'll move even further down to settings. And these are the settings for the latest uh, release. So got that. And reports. These are the reports. And then here under dynamic. And now these are the details, as I mentioned before, about the scan that we performed. Um, I'm going to show you how easy it is to do a scan on a, on a web based application. So when you think of a software as a service product or a cloud based product, oftentimes folks think of maybe Salesforce, right? Or you know, it seems like every product these days is is on demand or software as a service based, um, and you have a login page. You often have a splash page where you enter your account credentials and you lock it. So for the dynamic site URL, you're going to want to plug the page, uh, the URL to the page where you're actually logging into the software as a service, not like the website, right? So it's not like here I'm going to plug in, I'm not going to plug in www.verticalrent.com. I'm actually going to plug in 
the actual page and let me log out of here it's actually already logged in oh you're gonna do you're gonna plug it you're gonna plug in the URL directly to where the account credentials would go in so looking back here app.verticalrent.com would point right to this page otherwise known as your splash page where you're gonna log in you're gonna select your assessment type um, here, I don't have any units available, unfortunately, to show you, um, but you're going to select your location, your time zone, your environment, whether it's an internal or external product. This is an external product, so it's facing, facing the world. Anybody in the United States can sign up and access the product. Uh, you can specify exclusions down here. You can specify web services here, um, in different WSDL locations. You can, you know, specify down here. So if you have WSDLs exposed anywhere, you would put it in this format and you can separate them by line. Um, if you're a paying subscriber, which we are not to this particular trial, you can also set the repeat frequency. Uh, as I mentioned before, oftentimes if your software product collects credit card information um, and perhaps you use authorized.net as an example to process your credit card information, they might request a quarterly <clears throat> quarterly scan or every every six months they might request a scan um, and you, you might want to set this uh, accordingly here. You can also cite your site availability too, uh, whether it's available 24 seven or not, you might not have to touch that. Also authentication, whether authentication is required or not. Like I said down here, since I pointed the page here to this splash page, I went ahead and, and created two accounts for for HB Fortify to log in. Now, one thing I do want to recommend and just reiterate, I mentioned it before, is you want to be very careful. Um, what in, it doesn't matter what environment you're using Fortify in. It, it could be your QA environment, your staging environment, even your production environment. Sometimes you do your scanning in production. Um, you know the security settings of that account that you're using. Um, you want to. It's a balancing act there. You know, you of course want to test with a higher level account just in case a hacker were to get his hands on an administration account to see what he or she is able to exploit, but you don't want to put your system at jeopardy or sacrifice any configuration settings that you have in place because HPE Fortify will change a lot of things. Uh, I learned the hard way. I actually used an account that was a little bit higher level of access to vertical rent and it, um, it it changed a lot of things. It turned some configuration settings off, it turned some things on and we had to go back and clean things up for a little while after after we ran that scan. So just be careful and be, be cognizant of that. Uh, down here, if you have a VPN, you can specify that as well. Um, external devices, you can say, okay, this is, these are external devices that we have in place. You can also upload additional documentation that you might want. Um, associated with with this particular application you can even request a pre-assessment conference call with HPE um, to kind of talk to them about what your challenges are and you know how you want them addressed all right well uh, we thank you for your time today uh, this was meant to just be a quick review of HPE fortify on demand in the future we're actually going to provide you with uh, some more information about an integration that we're building out between ALM and HPE fortify um, that should be available in the near future and we'd be happy to um, discuss more with you if you have any questions feel free to get in touch with us you can always uh, visit our website at www.resultspositive.com. Thank you again and have a great day. Mm -hmm.